Welcome to the fourth video in the series of how to install a GRP roofing system by Composite Roof Supplies. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, the top coat. Our next step is very important. This is what's going to give you your aesthetic look. We need to sand this deck as flush and smooth as possible. What I'm using here is actually a 225mm drywall sander which makes this job much quicker. And at the same time you can see I'm blowing off all the dust which I'll also give a sweep off after. For your corners and trim area, obviously you're gonna to need to use something like a detail sander. When all the sanding's done and the dust has been blown off, you now wash the entire area with your acetone. This will degrease the area and remove any extra dust. Now, I recorded the top coat and my camera died almost instantly. So I, none of it got caught on camera. But what I've done for you is I have re-sanded the entire deck down and I'm going to apply another coat of top coat so you can see the exact same process. That's dedication. So I chose to use a medium pile roller to apply my top coat. But these things can let off little bits of fluff every now and then, especially when you're using something as sticky as resin. So really good top tip. You're gonna get some tape, masking tape, duct tape, whatever you've got really, as long as it's nice and sticky. You're gonna wrap it round your roller sleeve, give it a little rub, make sure any loose bits of fluff are gonna stick to that tape, and then you're gonna pull the tape off. And as you can see here, there's some nice bits of fluff stuck on that tape, which are not gonna get stuck into our resin. So obviously for our second coat, we now need to mix more top coat. We've got six kilos in here. If you look at the label, we're currently two to 18 degrees, we're 14 degrees, which means we have 30 mil of catalyst per one kilo. So I need six lots for 30 mil. This provided cup is 30 mil. So I'll do six of these into that. I need to give that a good mix. So, time to simply apply the top coat, almost like you would a paint. So when you're doing this, you don't want to put any pressure on the roller at all, because all you'll do is put the resin on too thin. So all you're doing is rolling the resin around, not pushing it in. Easiest way to do this is to start in a corner the furthest away from your access point to the roof. Now, I painted the whole main deck first, and then on the trim I came back after that was dry and used a brush and smaller roller. Be sure not to apply this too thinly. So as we mentioned earlier, you're just pushing the resin around. You're not putting any pressure down and trying to move it as thin as possible. You want a nice thick coat. That's going to ensure again that real aesthetic smooth look. Ensure you don't hang about when doing this because remember this resin cures really fast So just get it on the deck and roll it around So that's the top coat now completely applied to the roof and look how smooth that looks across the top, even though it's still wet. So when you've finished your top coat, you're gonna to wanna to clean all your tools with acetone. Your buckets are probably gonna look something like this. You don't need to clean this with acetone. You just need to do this. Look at that magic. 
Okay, so there you have it. The GRP routing system from Composite Route Supplies is now complete. Uh, I've left it a month and this is the result after one month. As you can see, still looking absolutely glorious. So if you would like your GRP roof to look like this one, follow these instructions. I hope you've learnt a tip or two and best of luck to you. So finally, I'd just like to say thank you to Composite Roof Supplies. Uh, this video and install is sponsored by Composite Roof Supplies. So head over there for all your flat roofing needs. Thanks everyone.